The Hand Bookbinders of California 23rd Annual Members Exhibition is on display now through the end of November at the main library in the South Hall of the third floor. With over 30 books on display, the show features the work of fine binders, edition binders, conservators, and book artists. Stay tuned now for a look at a sampling of the exhibition as Bay Area bookbinders Dominic Riley and John Demerit host a review of the exhibit and talk with a few of the bookbinders whose work is on display. Hello, it's Book Talk with John and Dominic. Hello. Hello, John. Hi, Dominic. Today is the first anniversary of our show. We've been running wow. for a whole year now, and to celebrate this moment, it's our sixth. What is this? Our sixth show. I think it is. I have a little gift to give to John, I, I and I hope that I don't too. embarrass him. You've got something for me? Yeah. Okay. Can I give you my gift first? Okay. No, you give me yours. All right, Dominic. I want to give you something very, very dear to me. Yeah. And, uh, <clears throat> my father gave it to me, and um, his grandfather gave it to him. Yes. Yes. It's it's my most cherished possession. It's my Girl Scout knife. Oh, let me see. Yeah. Oh. And I want you to have it always. I don't know whether the camera can see this, but it actually yeah. says um, GS, which I think stands for uh, Girl Scout. Girl Scouts of America. It's a beautiful thing, little blades. Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous. Anyway, I have something uh, for you. And it, I hope you cherish it always. I will, yeah. Uh, um, this is a spine flexor that I got in, oh. uh, in Alabama recently, yeah. and it's a bookbinding tool, and I hope you can find uh, many uses for it. What are you supposed to do with this? Well, um, you put it in your mouth. Yeah. And then you just squeeze it. Mm. There you go. Yeah. Many years to come, I hope. Yeah. Much use. Yeah. Anyway, John, tell us about yeah. what we're going to do today. Thank you. Get off. What are we going to um, do today, John, please? Well, <clears throat> let me put this away. Today, we're going to talk about, like we did last year, we're going to talk about the Handbook Binders of California. Oh, yes. The members exhibit the 23rd or 24th. It depends whatever we wrote on the poster. I think I it's remember. the 23rd this year. Yeah. And it's uh, up at the San Francisco Public Library in the south wing as you go towards special collections running through the end of November. Mm -hmm. um, come on down and see it. And then it will, if you are, happen to be traveling to the Los Angeles area, it will be at the Honold Library. God forbid. <clears throat> Claremont Colleges, February, through the beginning of February, through the end of January. And we have a special surprise today. We've invited some of the binders Yes, indeed. We're going to be looking at some of the books, but also we're going to be talking to the people who bound them. We're very excited about yeah. this. They've flown from all over the world to oh, be with oh, us. Yeah. Our first guest... Internationally famous bookbinder. ...is our friend from Philadelphia, uh, internationally renowned bookbinder. Yeah. And her name is Margaret Johnson, and we're going to be looking at her book. She is also the secretary of Handbookbinders of California. Oh, yes. She and is. the newsletter editor of the August organization... The Guild of Book Workers. She's a busy lady, but she's yeah. made time in her busy schedule to be with us today, and here she, here she is. is. And here's her lovely book. It's a book called Egypt, and the, the interesting thing about this book is it's the first book in the Hand Bookbinder show that is an example of a restoration, oh. meaning that it's not, a, it's not a new book, it's a book that Margaret has, has uh, a client brought to her, and she's oh. fixed it. Oh. And here she is. Hello, Hi, Margaret. Margaret. Hello. So, you, so you didn't do all this lovely gold stuff here? No, I didn't do that. Uh -huh. um, what did you do? What have you done to this book? When I got the book, the cover was off. Uh -huh. The front cover was totally off. The back yeah. cover was loose. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, we have a photo actually here of what it looked like before, which I think we can get a nice close-up of. Um, this photo shows us that what that, that this this cover's come off. Yeah, that's the front cover. The spine yeah. is all broken. And some of the paper in here was. Was missing. It looks like you've repaired some of the paper here. Right. Replaced the joint. Yeah. Uh huh. And the whole spine has been replaced. Oh, okay. With yeah. with leather. The original Excuse spine. Excuse me. Can I interrupt you for a moment? Yeah. Would, would you like a drink? Oh yeah. Would like a sherry? Absolutely. Anytime. Okay. I'll get Johnson, our butler, to bring you some sherry. Yeah, Johnson. He's very old, but we keep him on because we love him. Right. Continue, <laughs> so please. It has a new piece of leather, what, going all the way around here? Yes, yeah, yeah. starting about in here uh -huh. and all the way around here. And the original oh, label Johnson. of spine was careful. taken off yeah, and careful. replaced. Careful, careful. Thank you. Okay, I'm just book now. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, John. Thanks, we'll see you later. <laughs> okay, Margaret, would you like a sherry? Yes, thank cheers. you. Cheers. John? Thank you. Well, cheers. Here's to a good show. Mm. It's nice to have you. Mmm. Oh, it's not bad. Oh. So, and what else? And the corners. Oh, the corners. And so, we've done the corners. Yeah. All chewed up. So, and, so and you've consolidated the boards of the corners too. Yeah. 
Yeah. The thing that I always think is sad about restoration is that if you do a good job, you can't tell that it's been worked on. Yeah. So it's hard for us to show this and you know show precisely what it is that you've. You can see it if you're up close enough because I don't think mm -hmm. that you should make it look like brand new oh, if right. it's an old book. You mean have everything... you done any work to the text block itself? Only some of the corners that had been bent here. Okay. Oh yeah, and that's nice. And I put nice. Japanese tissue on them oh, too. Yeah because they're, they're quite brittle. You can't really see this, but here on the corner, Margaret has covered this with a piece of very fine Japanese tissue, which has reinforced what used to be a very uh, limp and broken corner, mm -hmm. which, is, which is really good thing to they're do. They're wonderful photographs, and yeah, this book is from the 1870s. Early photographs of Egypt. Of Egypt. Um, Beautiful. Really quite gorgeous. Here's a pyramid of the Sphinx. Made, apparently, the, the whole thing was made for British travellers who went to... Egypt, and they brought home this. Right. And if you could feel how heavy book this book is, it's incredibly heavy. It's right. printed on coated stock. And you oh. have um, you've polished this, then have you and cleaned it? Afterwards. Oh yes. So you, yes, you've yes. So it's much brighter than it land. was before. Right. And then mm -hmm. you've made a lovely box for it too. I understand. Oh yeah. I made a box for it. Now, yes. why have you made a box for this book? Well, I think that anything as old as this needs a little extra protection. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we right. will protect it as much as possible. Oh good. I'll and put it in, in like this. Like that. Good. And then it closes. And then it Great. closes. And you stand it up on the shelf. And there you are. And there you are. Great. Well, thanks very much, Thank Margaret. You, Margaret. And we'll Thank see you. you next year. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Here's the mascot of our show this year. What's he called, John? He's called Binder Man. And here's the man responsible for Binder Man. It's our old friend, Karel Romain. Hi, Karel. Hi, Karel. Hi, John. Hi, Dominic. From uh, Oakland, right? Right. Uh, a werecat binder. That's the place. What's a werecat? A werecat. werecat is like a werewolf, except the werecat transforms at will, not at the full moon. Huh. Well, kinda, enough of that. Kind of <laughs> like Binder Man, huh? Kind of. Yeah. Hmm. So let's have a look at this extraordinary thing. This is a okay. most amazing box. Yeah, and inside the, the box, Carol, you're going to show us what you've put in there. Okay. This, actually, this whole construct is actually an answer to a question. Um, I made almost 50 of these, not with all the ornamentation uh -huh. for sale at a local um, store, bookstore. And people would say, well, what do we do with these things? And uh, this was your answer. Huh? More or less. And what uh -huh. else do you, what, and there's another book. And this too, is huh? the Companion Journal, which okay. is still in progress. I haven't written anything in it, actually. Yeah. I'll just uh, put this great box. Carell, you want a drink? Sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sherry, um, Johnson. Um, we might have to move this so Christian, Johnson can... So what do you do with this? That, that would be my question. Um, this is just a collection of recycled thoughts and ideas oh, by... Sit here, Johnson. So you can just put your own scrap material whatever, yeah. whatever, whatever you want. So you sell them blank, basically. do you? Yes. That's great. And like they're stubs, so you can build them up with whatever you want. Uh, careful, careful, careful. There we are, Carol. Thank you. Cheers. Would you like to see my book? <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you, Johnson. Just, um, yeah. Don't you have something else to do, Johnson? Thank you. He's, he's got pretensions, you know. Cheers. It's nice to see you. Um, so this also... And this book is, is this wonderful cloth. <sighs> Tell us about this cloth. This is amazing. Look at this. Let's see. I think this cloth is actually from Senegal. Uh-huh. And then these are various veneers from... Uh, Show it to the... Oh, it has a wood Japan. veneer on there. Yes. This is a dyed kiri. This is a natural kiri veneer. That's a sugi veneer. Uh -huh. Now, Japan. how do you get these from Senegal? Can you, uh, can you buy them in Well, America? they're imported, yeah. You can get them at sure. various fabric stores. And you've used this wonderful colored paper here for the text block. Oh, that yeah, has a sort oh. of a rainbow effect on the forehead. Yeah, let's see that. Tail. Okay. Let's see. I think this was actually some uh, damaged paper from a local paper distributor. Uh -huh. I went in, and it was like a dollar for a ream, so uh -huh. I walked away with it. So there it is. Yeah. There it is. Well, good. And I particularly like the fact that on this book here, there are all these great things you can play with, like, little here's toys. a little compass in case you get lost. Yes. Here's a spring, so if you drop it on the floor, it bounces there you back go. up. All found you. objects. These yeah. are all found? Yeah. God. Just on my walks. That's great. A pair of handcuffs yeah. here. Um, what's we'll this? It. That's actually Robocop's leg. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How about that? Oh, do you know I know the man who designed Robocop? No. Yeah, yeah. Great, great man. Phil Tippett in Berkeley. And uh, maybe I could get a few knockoff parts sure. from the original okay. for you. I'm sure he'd be willing. There it is. Well, thanks very much yep. for coming. You're quite welcome. And, Thank you, Carell. Uh, My we'll pleasure. see you next year. All right. Okay. Thanks. And now let's move on. Our next book is uh, by a local binder, Judy Hodling, who's done a very nice... It's another travel book, actually. And this really looks like a book. You can see that it has a quarter, nice quarter-bound uh, effect there, title on the spine. But it's really, when you put it down, you can see that it's a box. And here's Judy right now. Hi, Judy. Hi, 
John. Hi, Dominic. Hi, Judy. Nice yeah. to have you here. <laughs> Judy, you've done this wonderful box with this wonderful paper, which we'll talk about in a minute. And inside this book, it's, it's another travel book, isn't it? Yes, it is. And why don't we open it up and take a look. Okay. Isn't it also a travel book from Africa? What, no? For no, this is from, uh, from the Middle Holy East. Land. Yeah. Oh, okay. And uh, it's actually my grandfather's, grandfather's letters, letters. letters of travel. And I tried to do a facsimile yeah. uh, version. Which You've done, is this a, is part of an edition, isn't it? Yes, mm. it's an edition of 13. Mm -hmm. So it's a facsimile. It looks exactly like yes, it's the original. A, yeah. it's, uh, Xerox is actually of the, um, mm -hmm. of the typescript. And then I bound it in the same way that my grandfather had with uh, handmade paper. Yeah, with these two, and sides. sort of a stab binding there. Yes. Did he also have a nice ribbon like yes, this? Yes, he did have a ribbon. And this is yeah. an old ribbon. The, um, the letters date from 1911. So I've tried to make it kind mm -hmm. of uh, Good. authentic. But when I finished it, I realized it was very fragile and it wouldn't stand up. So I yeah. then made this so box. So you've made this oh, beautiful, protection. lovely box. And the box yeah. is lined with ultra suede. Judy, how about a drink? Oh, wonderful. Do you like sherry? Oh, uh, yes, That's I what love we have. Sherry. Yeah. Yes. Now you've got this wonderful, and what I really like about this piece is all the colors really come together beautifully. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. thank you. Um, and the ultra suede here. It makes a nice nest. You've also yeah. made it. Uh, oh, here he is. Oh, oh Johnson, be careful. He, he's not, oh, he's not very good at his Pardon, thing. I took the liberty of bringing my book. Uh, I, I'm sorry? I'm so what? I my book. Oh, oh, thank you very much. But that's very really, nice. We, we have something else to, to look yeah. at. We're very um, busy right now. Judy, oh. here's your sharing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Dominic. Thank you, Johnson. Thank you. Um, well, cheers. And welcome to, uh, yeah. welcome to the you. show. Thank I would say, cheers, Judy. To, to, to our show and your show. Right. Uh, and what we were saying about the uh, <clears throat> Ultra Suede is that you've done this wonderful little... Uh, well, it, it, oh yes, trough that's, here that you've cut out, and I'm assuming that's where the ribbon goes. That's right. And the ultra oh. suede makes a nice little nest for the book. Yeah. And then I've covered it with this uh, paste it's paper, wonderful which paste I made myself. Paper. How did you, what did, it looks like a sort of a, this, how did you get this pattern effect here? Well, I actually painted bubble wrap and used that, huh. stamped it. So that's, that's a really innovative way of making a paste paper. Thank you. So you, you take a plain piece of paper mm -hmm. and you, you brush paint onto it. Uh, Do you? No, I brush the paint onto the bubble wrap mm -hmm. and then put that onto the paper. It's wonderful. Yeah. So should it's we beautiful. see how, how the book goes in? Oh, yes. Let's I want to see how this thing works, too. I hope it does. Lovely. So this yeah. ultra suede is like what? It's not really suede. So you no, can it's see a man-made suede. Right. Okay. And this will close over that. Right over Gorgeous. There. Like so. That's lovely. Thanks Thank very much for coming, Judy. Thanks, Judy. Thanks, Judy. See you next year. John, did I ever so, tell you about that time that I bound a book in water buffalo hide? Oh, no. Don't you have a book? Oh, I think I got something uh, somewhere here. It's a lovely little book. Mm. It's called Arrow Food. See? Oh, Arrow Food. Covered it in sand. Where is that it's man? It's got, yeah. Johnson. More drinks. Oh, a double six. Oh, uh, you know, it's got some text. Uh-huh. Comes in a nice little box. Made it all myself. Oh, I'll just put that away. Where is to him? Uh, oh, is he? I win. Huh. Donna, goes don't in you there. have a book somewhere? What? This is my book. Oh, <laughs> a book don't look like a book. <sighs> it's about time. I had to go out for another box of that. Oh, dear. No. You just can't get the stuff these days, can you? Thank well, you very much. buy a case next time, please. Yes. I would really like to show you my book. Oh, oh thank you very much, Johnson. Johnson. Now, thank go you. away it's and we'll... Very, uh, it's very nice. Now, go away. We'll talk to you later. Very yeah. good. Oh. Well, anyway, it's time to move on with the show. What have we got to see now? John, be careful. Yeah, I'm sorry. I think that's just spilled on. Um, yeah, well, it's all right, doesn't matter. It was just uh, Johnson's anyway. I think <laughs> oh, things are descending into the usual chaos here, yeah. and we're going to talk now to our very good friend. Uh, who is it? Uh, um, oh, it's our friend Joanne. No, it's not. It's no, our it's friend not, Molly. Uh, is it Molly? Yes, Molly West. Molly West. Yes. Yeah. Let's see. Let's, yeah. <laughs> Molly. Molly. It's, oh, uh, here she is now. Uh, uh, hello, Molly. Molly. Hi. Welcome, welcome Hi, to Molly. the show. Thank you. And, and thanks uh, for bringing your lovely here. book. Yeah, can you show your book sure. to us, please? Yeah. Sure. Um, this is What's this, this beautiful material that's covering it? It's velvet. Velvet. Oh, it's Ooh. gorgeous. Now, this I is wish a, you could feel this. <laughs> this is a photo album. <laughs> that's right. That you have made mm -hmm. in your shop in um, Emeryville. That's correct. Yeah. And you, you mass produce these, I understand. We well, do. I wouldn't say mass produce. Well, yeah, small scale mass produce. You're in production in these right. things, right? Oh. Right. Molly, could, could I get you a drink? Would you like a share? Sure, I'd love I'd one. Love let me. That would be great. Okay. Um, tell us about how this book has been made, first of all. 
Um, sure. Well, this is just a combination of um, different materials. I, we didn't actually make these materials, but uh -huh. um, um, it's Japanese uh, paper on the inside. Oh, oh, great. Here it is. Yeah. Uh, Molly, I, I believe this great. is your... Great. Thank uh, you. John? Thank you very much. Um, I'll have a refill, please. Me too. And, uh, <laughs> thank you so much. Be careful there. Perhaps the uh, young lady would care to see my book. Um, I That'd really be great. Don't think I'd I love to. Oh. Um, mm. Thank you anyway, J Johnson. He's been trying Jeez. to show us his book all day. Jeez. So, Japanese paper on the inside. And the... Um, That's beautiful. Mm, thank oh, you. Yeah. This is cloth here, then. This is a cloth joint yeah. here. That's correct. And then we have um, acid-free cover stock for mm -hmm. the um, pages. It's intended to be a photo album or scrapbook. Mm. It's all archival. Now, Molly, something mm. I think that's interesting that you do with your cloths is you basically have your own book mm. cloth. You have your book cloth backed. Great, thank you. And you send it to mm -hmm. someone who will, who will back it with mm -hmm. paper. So these Correct. aren't traditional book binding cloths that you buy. Right, these are You'll our, buy them our from own. Them. So you've right. been really from innovative and you've found regular cloth and you've transformed mm -hmm. it so mm -hmm. that it can be used for books. That's what I think is really correct. nice about this book is the and materials this, are really exquisite. This is a, what's this for? Yeah. Um, ribbon. Well, it's a French wire ribbon that we just used for um, tying the, uh, the binding. It's oh, a, this holds the And the wire correct. is what lets the, yeah. Right, oh, it, it, holds that shape. It. Look, that's correct. <laughs> I didn't mean, but this is like really just a, that's sort of like a stab, bi a, a stab binding. That's right. That's right. It's a very simple sewing structure. Beautiful thing. And this yes. also, I understand, is self adhesive too. Yeah, so mm -hmm. the, the we should up. also mention at this point that Molly is our exhibitions chair this year, who's oh, yeah. responsible right. for this whole exhibit. That's right. how you got you the book. Come in the down show. and see it. It's a great show. Yeah. Oh. Thanks so let us put our books in. Yeah. Yeah. Th thank you, Molly, and uh, no we'll choice. see you. Um, we'll see you on Thursday night. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Molly. And uh, we do have to move on, and it's our last guest, unfortunately, and yeah. it is... It is Joanne, Joanne Sonicson. Uh, Welcome to Joanne. And here's Joanne's book. It's a lovely black on black mm -hmm. on black. Where are you going? With a little slate thrown in there. Uh, it's The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe, printed by the Chalandity Press. And here's Joanne. Yeah, Hi, Joanne. Hi, Joanne. Now, Joanne, you have a wonderful hot, announcement to make. You've hot-footed it over here from yeah. the uh, uh, private meeting of the, the bowels top of the meeting. Oh, a very public meeting. Oh, yeah. oh public. Oh, oh yeah. why weren't we oh, invited? Surprise me. You were. Oh, oh we were here making our <laughs> right. show. Yeah. The, um, the Book Club of California. That's and right. is it true that you've just been elected their new president? Yes, that's true. Well, congratulations. Well, congratulations. Thank you so much. I'm sure you're the best man for the job. Now, would you like a drink to celebrate? I'd love one. Yeah, absolutely. Johnson will bring our sherry, I'm sure. Now, why don't you tell us tell about us your a book. bit about your book while we wait? I think most people are aware of the poem, which is a little bit uh, depressing. Somber, yeah. I'd say. Somber is not very a good uplifting. Word for it. Yeah. And so, one of the more difficult oh, parts. Oh. Uh, uh, excuse me, Joe. Excuse me. Um, oh, excuse me. This is mine. Uh, I appeal so. to you, madam, yeah. as a woman of taste, to take a look at my Just book. Uh, uh, Johnson. Johnson, please. Um, uh, Joanne, I'm sorry. Um, I have to. Uh, just, just uh, no, a minute. No, no, I really think. But, but he looks familiar. Oh. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, um, it's a purely a coincidence. Um, um, he's an old retainer of ours. I don't think you've ever seen him before. No. Please continue. So uh, well, at uh, any rate, uh, one of the more difficult aspects of the design of this book was to keep away from using color because the raven is after all a mm -hmm. very yes. depressing poem mm -hmm. and the book as you can see has the impression of having um, a stamp on it it is not a stamp there are three different leathers yeah. on it. Yeah, I don't know there. if you can see that. There's one in the center here, which sits on this one, and then the, the leather that mm. is the it's covering box leather. Calf, mm. Cape uh -huh. Morocco, and Chagrin. And this leather is extremely smooth. Yeah. And I also noticed you have Now, what have lovely... you done to this leather to make it so smooth? This one, once the book was covered, I sanded the entire surface, oh, outside surface, mm -hmm. and then waxed it with a colored wax that mm. I got from the Bibliotechna, you know. Mm -hmm. And that Now, the only gives... color here is the edge. You have gold here. Now, you gilded this yourself, didn't yes. you, this yeah. gold edge? You didn't send it to France. No. A lot of people do that, though. I don't. Oh, well, good for you. Good for you. Thanks for bringing it, uh, Joanne. My thank you for pleasure. showing it, and uh, congratulations on your new presidency. Well, thank you, yes. gentlemen. Thanks, Joanne. John? Yeah? We've come to the end of our show. Oh, our anniversary show. Our anniversary show, one year, happy marriage. Mm. 
So why don't we see you many more years? Yeah, but uh, thank you very much for coming down here uh, to see us today, and um, please come see our show. Yeah, it's up through the end of November mm -hmm. at the San Francisco Public Library, South Wing, third floor, and at the Honold Library from December through January in Claremont, if you're down in the LA area. Yeah. So please come down and see the show. Bottoms up. Yeah. Or bottoms down. Yeah. Oh, perhaps I could show you my book, which is bound with full Morocco onlays and, oh dear. 